Hey guys, Tefel Archeo project and this time uh, in this short guide we will just check one functionality from uh, UMG which is binding and I find this really useful especially when you want to uh, update uh, one value and uh, keep this value updated all the time. Okay, so please check this out. So everything what we need for this short guide is just this guide player controller which is completely new, new one. And I need to create variable which is just uh, points, integer. So I will keep my points and I need function add points. Just input, uh, maybe just points, integer. And I will update my points just adding uh, yeah, this first one to the second one. And setting this. Should be fine yeah okay so i need to update my points uh, when i just collect uh, one of these items so uh, i just get my player controller cast to guide player controller and add points so when it's a child coin when I just collect this coin, it's, it will be just 10 points. And when I just collect uh, this cupcake, the second one, I will just add maybe 5 points. Okay. So I'm uh, updating my points. And we can just go to the point right now. So I just create new widget. Because I want to show uh, on the screen this point. Okay, and uh, we have user interface and widget, and it will, it will be just score. So I need to show this on the screen, open level blueprint, uh, widget, create, and score. Add to viewport, of course, and we should get this on the screen. And everything what I need to do is just add two text. On my, my canvas so text to the canvas second one I can just select them or maybe just move uh, one of them to the bottom select them and adjust this uh, position maybe just uh, size to content and usually if we just change uh, want to change this uh, values we just need to go graph and uh, when it's even tick or something or just a uh, function, we just update this uh, and make this visible, yeah, is variable, yeah. But right now, we just, uh, everything what we need to do is just use this binding. Create binding and this is really useful just to update this value. Uh, so first one will be just get uh, game time in seconds. It will just show uh, our uh, game seconds and make this floor and maybe just uh, build a string from integer and first will be just a game time and maybe space okay so it will be my first element and second one will be just uh, updating this score so the same binding create binding and the second one will be just uh, getting player uh, controller just casting like before to guide player controller and getting get score uh, yeah mm, let's check this out uh, points mm. okay so I just get these points and uh, make string right uh, build string okay and my score will be just okay like that and i can use my binding and compile save and check this out so right now uh, yeah game time is uh, coming to 10 yes it's 10 and of course I need to finish this game when uh, my time goes to 
some value. So let's check this out. Guide layer controller once again, and I can use my tick event. So when uh, this points, uh, maybe just get play uh, game time in seconds. When it's higher than or equal 10, I use branch, of course. I will just destroy a player a character and destroy actor. So right now uh, I have only 10 seconds to collect these coins and this is uh, what this game is about. <laughs> so I have my 10, 15, 25, okay maybe I just get one more, no, okay. So right now, uh, yeah, I can show uh, some scoreboard, but I will just make another guide about this. Okay, so I hope you learned something new, and as always, uh, see you next time.